Just gonna do a short video on um, this homemade barbecue smoker on a trailer that I got built. I uh, got it named Blowing Smoke. Up front here, this box is actually a uh, heating tray. It's got a few shelves in it. So um, you can put vegetables or something that maybe got done a little too soon on the cook. You can put them in there and they'll stay warm until the rest of the food gets done. Uh, the pit itself is actually on a little five foot trailer. Bought that from Home Depot a few years ago. Uh, the main pit itself is a 24 inch diameter pipe, five feet long. It's at a 316 steel and then below it I added to it a, the hot box for the charcoal and the wood. There's a grate in there that uh, pulls out so you can get the ashes and whatnot out. And there's a door on each end. Um, over here on the other side, I have my smoke and spin box. And what that is, it's completely separate from the other smoker. But um, it's a vertical rotisserie, kind of like how they make gyros. And there's an electric motor that slides in underneath here when you're ready to use it. And then this thing spins real slowly. And then I've got several attachments that go on. This is the, actually the one that we use for uh, corn on the cob. You can stick um, eight cobs on vertically. Um, we've done chicken. We've done turkey. Uh, you can do two chickens at a time, you can do ham, we've done gyros, uh, and how this works is you actually add charcoal down in these side boxes. There's one on this side and one down in here. Get that going and then the heat and the smoke comes out through these holes there. This gets shut and there's your adjustment for the, the draft. That works pretty good for some things. It just kind of depends on what we're making uh, as far as what grill works. Uh, this is my rotisserie part that I got made. Um, just a 110 volt motor running through a couple sprockets and a couple chains. And I've got it down about 3 RPM right now. We'll let the smoke clear here a little bit. We've got, I just got this going, so got actually three racks of ribs going, uh, two pork and one beef. Um, the trays, there's four of those. They're um, nine inches wide and then just about four feet across. So um, it gives you quite a bit of room for if you're doing several steaks or hot dogs hot wings, ribs, whatever. So, down here's the adjustment for the draft. And then get this shut. And then I've got two smoke stacks up here that I can regulate the air and how much heat's going into it. Um, this has been running for about 10 years now. And I just got it uh, touched up and got some stuff repainted and was going to take a quick video and show everybody what it looks like after it got painted. Thanks for watching.